what we're doing now, starting from like square one again. Like, how much of that is, how much, like, does it need to be included at all? Do you need to acknowledge it? Or is it like a footnote that's like, here's things that didn't work, here's why we're doing stuff now? So oh. it, that's, that's going to be a conversation you have with your advisor. Okay. I can tell you from my experience as an advisor, what we have done in the past is we have basically footnoted okay. that entire, because essentially what you've done is you have had people generally who have skipped over the appropriate way to do a step of the design life cycle is usually what happens. Because if you go through the design life cycle appropriately, then things work generally, but if you've skipped important aspects of the design life cycle, then things don't work, and then you get moved backwards, yeah. is generally what has happened. Okay. Um, and so generally what you say is, well, something didn't go properly in an earlier point in the design life cycle, so you got shuffled back to that earlier point in the design life cycle, and you're starting over from that point in the design life cycle. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah, that makes sense. But it's a conversation you have to have oh, with your yes. own advisor. Yeah, okay. So, Thank yeah, <laughs> no problem. Okay, so you have like five minutes for a constructive critique is the way that I would phrase it. So what are things that can be improved on the document that has been presented to you? And try to phrase it in a way that gives people a measurable or observable way to improve their document in time for their uh, design deliverable. Okay. to maintain as it is or do you want to redesign it because you know uh, a game that was a large console in 2001 may be an iPad game now yeah. well we still have like this is case specific yeah but, but you know what I'm saying right yeah, yeah. One thing 
things to be aware of with game charts is that you can often take images of them and then you can blow them up to like 300 percent. Yeah. So, so that makes it easier to read the text, but you can also do it in Excel, and you can make the text larger that way. Um, so I don't know how you produced your game chart in the beginning. It was in Excel, but then you moved it into Word. So that's the problem. Oh, it's in Google Docs. Yeah. Yeah, so the, the thing is, once you move it out of Excel, then you can't move the text size. So if you leave it into our, leave it in Excel and just link it across. Or just make a note that see Appendix yeah. 1, see Appendix 2. Uh, Appendices <laughs> are very helpful, yeah. I have to say. We are out of time now. Thank you all for coming out. I do apologize again for me going to the wrong room. That was totally my fault. I'm so sorry about that. Um, if you have any questions as the semester goes on about how to create documentation that is more effective, please do contact me. My office is over in Walk, uh, 3053. Uh, and I will be having another skill session just before final design review that is another peer review of documentation. So if you want to do this again on your much improved documents, uh, please come back for the second <laughs> skill session. You'll get another skill session credit and you'll get more input on your document. All right, so have a good evening. <laughs>